I describe Whitehall as a spaghetti dinner town. It's a place where the community comes together when somebody needs help. If somebody loses a job or if there's not enough health insurance to provide coverage for a life-threatening illness, the community will throw a spaghetti dinner fundraiser to help that person. I think that's what a lot of small towns in upstate New York and across the country are like. They are places where, even if at the end of the day we might disagree, everybody is going to support you if you need help. Elise Stefanik is a threat to spaghetti dinner towns. While I disagree with Mr. Trump on this issue, the election is not rigged. After Trump lost and started pushing the big lie, Elise Stefanik signed on, fighting to overturn the 2020 electoral results in both Pennsylvania and Texas. She was a moderate, but somewhere along the line, she figured out that the only way to survive was to pivot to Donald Trump. She did it with a vengeance. If we continue to divide people, they're not going to be able to share that meal together. So much of my life in Whitehall is defined by a small business, a grocery store that my great-grandmother started over 90 years ago. My parents are the third generation to own the business. The community in Whitehall is the foundation of who I am. I think it informs a lot of my desire to run for Congress. I do think that being gay gives a different perspective in leadership that is important so that we can understand each other better. There's a lot at stake. Do you have health insurance? Do you have a good paying job? Do your children have opportunities that are better than the ones that you had? I wanna serve. And if I can be a part of that process, then I'm gonna do it with everything that I have.